Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to an update on the GALA token. We'll do a full technical and fundamental update, kind of telling you what to expect from GALA, what, what the current situation is for GALA, and, uh, and hopefully, uh, in the end, you know everything you need to know. All right, so that's at least the goal. Um, like I said, I mean, if you're new to the channel, you'll, you'll see what I mean. We'll really t uh, take a look at everything. That's also, I mean, right now for, for GALA, if we're just taking a look at the technicals, um, there's not that much exciting about it, all right? So I'm mainly making this because I know that there's a significant Gala community also around Selenix Crypto. Uh, so this is for you. So the current situation is just that Gala is, is consolidating in, in some sort of a way between uh, 1.4 cents and then the support level it has found around 1.3 cents. Technically, that's the situation. But the, the thing we're interested in, of course, is can Ghana get some sort of a rally, all right? Because it would need to break above 1.4 cents, which it got very close to earlier this week, um, to really break, to, to really become bullish. And that is a possibility. Uh, the thing, though, is, is that at this point of time, that doesn't look most likely, all right? If you take a look at Gala, you'll see that the open interest is low. The volume is low. They're practically flatlining, uh, which means that there's absolutely no bullish momentum for Gala right now. And that increases the chance of Gala potentially crashing because something we also know is that every single day, more Gala is being brought into circulation. All right, so here you can see that, that the Gala inflation over the last couple of days is 3 million, 60 million, 5 million, 4 million, 5, 40 million, 13 million, 40 million. So more Gala into circulation pushes the price down because the price is a result of demand and supply and the supply there, therefore is increasing. So that pushes the price down. Um, and uh, it's just not looking great. Like, like I said, the, the current situation really is between 1.4 and 1.3 uh, cents. That's the consolidation. It might be interesting to take a look at some liquidation levels. I think they'll tell us the same thing. Yeah. Here you can see that there's major uh, consolidation levels or liquidation levels around 1.35 cents and then 1.3 cents. So perhaps it's even a little bit lower. So it's more, more like um, more like this. But liquidations around that level do not necessarily mean it breaks above 1.4 cents, which technically is needed. So the big question is, is what's most likely right now? And that's difficult to say. I would say at this moment, it's most likely with Bitcoin being this bullish still, um, that Gala will be able to consolidate in this area, get back up towards 1.38 and 1.4 cents and just consolidate here. But that's only with Bitcoin being bullish, all right? Because if Bitcoin turns bearish right now, and if Bitcoin gets a bearish breakout down to 27,000 or at least below 28,000 again, I think Ghana will actually get that bearish breakout and will continue falling down towards like 1.25 slash 1.2 cents. One of those two. I'm not sure yet which one. So I do think Ghana right now is pretty weak and that if Bitcoin gets one bearish breakout and one big bearish confirmation, that Ghana will fall together with it. Uh, if Bitcoin holds its own, I think Ghana will consolidate. I think there's no indication right now of a uh, rally for Ghana. That could happen. I'll, t I'll, I'll keep an eye on the open interest and the volume, but for now, there's no indication. All right. So uh, can Gala rally? Yes, but it doesn't look likely at this moment. So probably not on the short term. And we'll have to see Like if it holds this consolidation level. And like I said, the open interest and the volume starts increasing, then it might be able to get a rally. Like uh, Then it might be able to, to rally. Um, but I'll probably make a video on that. All right. Before then, it's more likely that it will consolidate and even fall if Bitcoin gets that bearish breakout. But that's my take on Ghana. If you do have any questions, let me know. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.